in the shop. Yeah, buddy. Just ordered that old pan. That's the last thing I gotta get on that 400, and it's done. I gotta go pick up the uh, valve covers. I'm wrong. But once I get the valve covers, I'm gonna call him, tell him his intake does not work for his application, and then we'll be done. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm gonna get to that. It's already later than I would like it to be. Every time, every time I turn around, like I had, I got another motor that came in. I got a 360 AMC here now. So it's not bad stuff. Like I, 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 it, it probably seems like it bothers me, but it doesn't. It's not really bother me per se, as much as it's just frustrating that I can't ever physically continue to work because I'm constantly having to stop and talk to someone, this and that. Either someone dropping something off, someone picking something up, someone just coming by to talk, which I don't mind. Like when it's friends, if it's just some rando who wants to come up here and talk about motors that I don't know. It's frustrating because you know I got bills to pay the shop costs money to run <laughs> but anyways enough about that I'm gonna go pick up that oil pan get this 400 done and then as soon as I get that done I'm really gonna jump on that LT1 I keep talking about <laughs> anyways talk to you later wow so it is out of control <laughs> I've got to hire somebody like there's no if ands or buts about it anymore like I literally need somebody so, I got a 440 Mopar. I've got a 38 Buick. I've got a G35 Infiniti. I've got a 360 AMC. I've got a 350 um, LT1. One, two, three, four, five, just sitting right there alone. I've got a 4.3 that I've got to finish the top end. It's almost done. <laughs> I've got this 400 that I keep talking about that's not done yet. But there is a 400 small Chevy that is almost done. Then, I have a 5.3 LS base motor to build. It's just all I got in it so far is the crank. Then I have a 396 to build. So what was that? How many did I have back there? We'll just come up here. One, two, three, four. Luckily, some of these are almost done at this point. So four up here, five, six, seven, eight, nine sitting in the floor. Nine. This doesn't count anything else. Nine. Nine, nine, nine. What else do I have got back here? This stuff back here that can wait. Nine. The 427, as soon as that guy brings me the parts for it, we're going to do a tri-power 427 over there. So that makes 10, 10 motors. I just had the guy call me, they called me last week about a Toyota. It's a 2.7 of a Tacoma and he's dropping it off on Friday. That makes 11. Then I just got a phone call from a guy who uh, asked me for a quote on his motor, which is a 5.4 Ford Triton motor. And he just confirmed that his motor or truck got dropped off at my guys who pulls it for me. So what did that put me at 12? 12 total motors to build? Holy crap. So one, two that are not here physically. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 motors to build. I am one human being, people. One, I'm gonna hire somebody. I gotta have more than me. Me is not gonna get this done. And like, other than that 400 and the 5.7, so three of the motors, so 10 of them have all come in since January 1st. It is only like the 14th. Is it even the 14th? Yes. January 14th. Jesus, I'm almost averaging a new motor a day at this point. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna get to work. I don't know if I said this yesterday or not, but I had to go buy a brand new old pan. Yeah, buddy. But anyways, on the right side of the motor, I have 13, I think I actually counted up 14. 14 small block Chevy oil pans in the shop. But I have none that are a two-piece seal and the dipstick on the driver's side. So, I only had two, two, or technically three, but one was like for a Nova, but it was a really deep pan, like racing pan. And then I had two one-piece seals, but both of them dipsticks on the wrong side. So, got it now, putting it on, getting this 400 finally done. <laughs> so, the pan is on the 400 now. It is done other than I don't, my dummy self forgot to go pick up the valve covers. So, I'm about to go do that. 
But I just got a call and the guy that I bore and home that block for is also on his way up here, but he only lives like 15 minutes away. So I'm gonna have to wait for him to get here first before I can leave. So in that time period, while the motor is upside down, I figured I'd wheel it back into <coughs> the actual shop part of the shop and paint it. That way there, because the valve covers are gonna be chrome. I don't want paint on them. So let's go ahead and paint that bottom in. That's what I'm gonna do. Whoosh! close this month so Paul just came got his block so I finally have enough to go pay my bill down at the warehouse all I'm short now is that 700 like I was saying for my mortgage and I'm good I got two days so I'm gonna go pick up those valve covers go pay my bill down at the shop hopefully get the guy for the 400 to come today or tomorrow to come pick it up he's already been calling me like hey when's it gonna be ready when's it gonna be ready like he's anxious to get it so I'm sure if I call him today or he'll either be here this afternoon or he'll be here tomorrow so I'm gonna go get this valve cover so I can get it tightened up, get it done, and get paid, get done for this month, cutting it close. <laughs> I ain't never cut it this close before. Usually I have the money well before it's time to pay the bills. Just people aren't paying me, and the one guy, I might be taking a mechanics lien out. I don't know, we'll see. I don't know what I, repossessions, I mean, if I gotta go with baseball bats to his front door, I don't know, but <laughs> if something's gonna happen, he's gonna pay me. All right, Yeah, buddy, center bolt chrome valve covers. Let's get them put on the motor now so we can physically say we're done with the motor. <laughs> so, once again, the 400 is kind of done. It is physically painted though now. I'm not sure if you can see that. It is physically painted. It's got valve covers on it. It just needs an intake because he wants it to be ready to like go in his car kind of thing and not just a long block. So... I, <clears throat> I think I've told y'all earlier, sorry about that, but um, lost train of thought, coughing, this gone. <laughs> what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the reason why it's not done. So the intake he brought me is for like an older style shell, small like Chevy head, it will not fit on these Vortex. Uh, what else was said? The balancer that he brought me was for a 350, that will not work on an external balance 400. And let's see. Ba, 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 da, ba. What else do I am I missing? I think that's it. I think the intake and the balancer and once those two are on I will put his carburetor he brought me on. I'll put his I guess I'll put a starter on for him too Because he brought it to me. I don't know. He's got his carburetor and that I will not be putting his distributor in or his wires which he brought to me because whoever is Putting it in the car. I feel like needs to be doing that. And he brought me a bunch of little like brackets and whatnot I'm like I'm putting that on there like that's it goes on once it gets in the car <laughs> anyways that's beside the point <clears throat> um yeah so that's it i just ordered the balancer I've, it's in stock here in greensboro the intake they had they do not have it they actually had to get it from the manufacturer and they told me they couldn't get it by friday and i want it by friday the guys gonna come and get it on friday so i'm going to see what i can do to find one faster <laughs> than next week like they told me so that's where I'm at on the intake I'm gonna go home I'm gonna do start doing some googling probably order one might stop by Raleigh's on the way home see what their prices are and if they're good I'll buy it tonight if not I don't know what I'm gonna do anyways moving on I will talk to you guys tomorrow Whoosh. another vlog has come to an end which means it's time to smash this like button right here click on the share button over here share this vlog with anybody you think might find it interesting comment down below let me know what you thought about the vlog if you haven't yet make sure you subscribe to my channel ring the bell that way there you'll get the notifications and we will talk with you later Whoosh.